This video is designed to overview changing the oil and filter in your new Mercury 154 stroke outboard. We recommend you review the steps outlined in your owner's manual supplied with the engine as you watch this video when performing the service. Here are the supplies needed to make the change. First, tilt the outboard out and up past vertical for approximately one minute to allow any trapped oil inside the powerhead to drain back to the oil sump at the center of the engine. With the engine in a tilted position, check the oil drain fitting located on the starboard side for any internal blockage or debris that may restrict the oil flow as you drain the sump. Next, return the outboard to a vertical position, positioning the oil drain fitting at its lowest point in the arc. Use a 16 millimeter wrench and loosen the oil drain valve so that it can be turned by hand. Be careful not to open the valve too far, allowing oil to drain. Attach a 12 millimeter ID drain hose to the oil drain valve and position the opposite end of the hose into an appropriate container to capture the used oil for recycling. Loosen the oil drain valve two and a half turns to allow the oil to drain. Do not loosen the oil drain valve more than two and a half turns. The oil seal may be damaged if the fitting is rotated beyond two and a half turns. Important, inspect oil for signs of contamination. Oil contaminated with water will have a milky color to it. Oil contaminated with fuel will have a strong fuel smell. If contaminated oil is noticed, have the engine checked by your dealer. After the oil is drained, hand tighten the oil drain valve by rotating it clockwise and remove the oil drain hose, allowing any trap oil to drain into the container. Finally, tighten the oil drain valve securely and clean any oil from the valve area. Next, we are going to change the oil filter located on the starboard side of the powerhead. First, remove the plug from the oil trough and attach a 12 millimeter ID drain hose to the fitting. Position the opposite end of the hose into an appropriate container. Next, using the appropriate oil filter wrench, unscrew the old oil filter by turning the filter in a counterclockwise direction. Loosen the filter enough to allow the trapped oil in the trough to drain. After the oil flow has stopped, remove the oil drain hose. Clean the oil filter mounting base, checking to ensure the rubber seal from the old filter is removed from the mounting flange. Apply a film of clean oil to the new filter gasket. Do not use grease. Screw the new filter on until the gasket contacts the base, then tighten an additional three quarter to one turn. If not previously removed, disconnect the drain hose and reinstall the small yellow plastic plug. Next, we will refill the oil sump with new oil. Locate the yellow oil filter cap on the top forward side of the engine. Remove the oil fill cap and add approximately 6 liters of recommended oil as outlined in your owner's manual. This will bring the oil level within the midpoint of the operating range. Idle the engine for 5 minutes and check for leaks. Stop the engine and allow the engine to cool for at least an hour before checking the oil level. As discussed earlier, tilt the outboard out and up past vertical for approximately one minute to allow any trapped oil inside the powerhead to drain back to the oil sump at the center of the engine. Then trim back to a vertical position. Take note, checking the oil level within five minutes of engine shutdown can falsely read up to one liter low. Pull out the dipstick. Wipe the dipstick end with a clean rag or towel and push it back in all the way. Pull the dipstick back out again and observe the oil level. Oil should be in the operating range between the top bar and the bottom bar. Important, do not try to fill the oil level to the top bar. Oil level is correct as long as it appears in the operating range between the top bar and the bottom bar. If the oil level is below the bottom bar, remove the oil filler cap and add approximately 500 milliliters of specified outboard motor oil. Allow a few minutes for the oil to drain to the oil sump and recheck the dipstick. If necessary, add additional oil to bring the oil level within the upper one-third level of the operating range. Avoid overfilling. Do not try to fill the oil level to the top bar. 
Push the dipstick back in all the way. Install the oil fill cap hand tight. And then reinstall the top cowl.